Hello YouTubers, I hope you are doing absolutely 100% fantastic today. I'm doing great, very productive day. I'm gonna keep it going by getting this video out to you guys. Um, first off, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. The channel is coming along nice. Um, for you new people out there, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna keep making these videos as long as you guys will have me. Uh, today I have a good one for you. We are going to go through the best of my classic record collection. And there won't be like any heavy stuff, you know, and when I say heavy, I'm talking like Van Halen, Judas Priest, um, you know, bands like that. Um, I'm going to do something separate with those guys. So um, this is just going to be classic rock. So no really hard rock, which reminds me of a story uh one day, uh, when some guy asked my cousin when we were little if he liked uh, hard rock, and he responded, uh, no, I like soft pebbles. Anyhow, true story though. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get started. Okay, first up, this by as far back as we're going to go, I think. Um, Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. So basically, he's rock and roll. He's probably the oldest guy on this list uh, as far as music age goes. So um, I love Elvis. Um, I have a few of his albums, a couple Christmas albums and uh, some CDs. So Elvis Presley. Steely Dan. Um, I don't know that you could call this uh, classic rock. I like, I didn't really know where to put them. So um, but the, this is like one of my favorite albums to come out of the 70s, if not the favorite, because um, it's basically just got six songs that are like five plus minutes, and they're all great songs. Uh, Black Cow, Asia, Everybody Loves Deacon Blues, um, Josie. So anyhow, great album. Highly recommend it for your collection. And just so you know, guys, you can add these albums to your collection and not break the bank. And so um, my philosophy with buying records is buy them cheap at your price or don't buy them at all. And, um, you know, that's the way the small record stores do it. And that's exactly the way you should do it. Um, you'll get better albums and you will get more albums because you will save money doing it. So next up, Chicago. Man, this is just a, a great album, and, um, you know, it's, it's in fantastic condition, and um, 25 or 6 to 4, um, Color My World, uh, Saturday in the Park, this is just a great album, um, just some good uh, classic softer rock to listen to, some of them are more high tempo, but Chicago, gotta have it. The Eagles, greatest hits. And this is actually uh, the greatest selling album of all time. So there's a lot of copies out there. You get it cheap. Um, Take it easy. Witchy Woman, Lion Eyes. Um, Tequila Sunrise, Best of My Love. Great album. Belongs in your collection. If you like the Eagles. Okay, here's another one, man. Um, this was actually a really cool score for me, and uh, this is just an old album, and it's a Chinese, or uh, uh, Japanese, I'm sorry, print, and um, yeah, The Hollies, and so um, I want to say I got this for like 10 bucks, but you know, uh, I Am A Rock, uh, Very Last Day, Sweet Little Sixteen, just a great album, and um this is probably the next oldest thing to Elvis that I have in there. And by the way, this is like not in, in order by year or anything like that alphabetically. It's just I pulled these out of my collection. Um, and I, you know what? I could not find my clearance, uh, my CCR album. It's in there somewhere. I must have misfiled it. Um, but they deserve to be mentioned um, because you're probably going to call me out if I don't. And if I do miss something, put it in the comments. 
I'd love to hear um, or just to be reminded of something I need to keep my eye out on. Um, anyhow, next up, Fleetwood Mac. And we recently just lost uh, Christy McVie. But um, again, like I always say, we have you know the music that she left behind to carry on and the rest of the, the members of Fleetwood Mac um, to keep playing it. Hopefully they add Lindsey Buckingham back into the band. But... Um, Anyhow, Rumors, uh, yeah, this is just a great album, and um, Fleetwood Mac. Three Dog Night, man, um, I don't even have to look at this cover. Shambhala, The Child is White, The Child is Black. Um, just a lot of good songs on this one, greatest hits. Um, you know, these guys aren't even in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's just crazy to me. At, at least they weren't the last time I checked. If they are, well, forgive me. But these guys belong in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Next one. Don McLean. Um, American Pie. And this is just... Uh, man, this should be in your, in your collection just for the cover. Uh, the cover art. It's just amazing. But, you know, obviously... Um, it's just got great songs on it. Uh, American Pie, Vincent, Crossroads needs to be in your collection. Again, if you like Don McLean, give him a listen on your iPod. Any of these albums, like, you know, I'm not some record guru. I probably know very little compared to a lot of these guys on eBay. I mean, eBay, YouTube. Um, give him a listen on, listen on YouTube or, or on your Apple playlist. And decide for yourself if, if it needs to be in your collection. Because I am that guy that I don't care if it's Led Zeppelin or, or The Cure or Depeche Mode. If you don't like them, then you know what? It's no popularity contest, right? Don't buy them. Um, anyhow, those three bands, I would kind of find it hard that not everybody likes them. But hey, anyhow, the Doobie Brothers up next. China Grove, Long Train Running. Taking it to the streets. Listen to the music. Black water. Jesus is just all right with me. And Jesus is just all right with me. So anyhow, this is just a great album. And man, again, give it a shot if it's not already in your collection. Beach Boys, Endless Summer. Um, yeah, these guys uh, are just amazing. Uh, obviously, Wilson is a genius. Um, but this just has all of the great Beach Boy stuff on it. Great album. And this, this one has like all the posters and stuff in it. Um, so just, just happy to have it in my collection. Um, I think you'll be happy to have it in yours. This little guy here, or this big guy here, is, is uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, live 1975 to 85. My son gave me this either for Christmas or my birthday. Thank you, son. Um, this album is awesome. It's a, he's great live. He tells some really cool stories and it's really not that pricey. So anyhow, dark side of the moon, Pink Floyd. Um, yeah, duh, this, this is just a great album, right? So anyhow, dark side of the moon money, uh, is probably the song everybody knows, but, um, just Pink Floyd is awesome. Got to have it in your collection. Trace Hombres. Man, this, I was just so happy. And I just got this one recently to add this to my collection. And um, LaGrange, obviously, that's just an awesome song. So many bands actually, you know, uh, play it. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty cool. So anyhow, got to have it. Rod Stewart, you know, I had the opportunity to see him uh, with Jeff Beck at the Hollywood Bowl uh, and just a great show. Love Rod Stewart, um, but this is just all of his greatest hits. Uh, first Cut is the Deepest, I Was Only Joking, You're In My Heart, Hot Legs, and Maggie Mae, um, and I Don't Want to Talk About It, just to name a few. All right. I love this guy. Against the Wind, 
Oh my gosh, beautiful loser. Um, they're probably not out on this album, but these are just some of the hits this guy has. And just so you guys know, I have like, these aren't, these uh, artists, I have more than just what I'm showing you of theirs. I just picked one out for representation. Anyhow, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, um, like I said, um, awesome. Super Tramp. Man, I love these guys. This is like my my favorite, one of my favorite junior high records. Um, the Logical Song, uh, Take the Long Way Home, reminds me of my cousin Yolanda, who's no longer with us. And it's just a good song to listen to, man, if you're just out and about by yourself and you want to take the long way home. Anyhow, great album, Breakfast in America. It's an awesome cover, and I love it. Foreigner, oh my gosh. Feels like the first time. Cold as ice. Uh, Head knocker, just name a few. Foreigner, and I have a few of their albums too. Great to be in, in the uh, classics list. Okay. The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. And to be honest, I have a few Beatles albums, basically. I have this one and then the two greatest hits, uh, Double LPs. And... Um, but yeah, these, oh, the Beatles. The, the thing I love about the Beatles the most, um, and this is just my opinion, it's what I get out of the music, right? Is Ringo Starr's drumming. It just, oh man, his drumming just does it for me. Um, you know, what can I say? But all the Beatles, obviously, that's just kind of a dumb remark. Like, oh, all the Beatles are great. Of course, all the Beatles are great. And that's why I have their albums in my collection. This, to me, is by far the best Aerosmith album. Um, man, in, in elementary school, we were digging this song. And, um, yeah, Back in the Saddle, Rats in the Cellar, Sick as a Dog, uh, Licking a Promise, just to name a few. Um, yeah, Steven Tyler, man, he's just, uh, and Joe Perry. The whole band, man, it just they just did some good stuff, and... I love them in my collection. Leonard Skinner, gold and platinum. Um, this is just an awesome album. And if you can get it in your collection, um, I highly recommend it. Down South Junkin', Saturday Night Special. My One of my favorites. This is right up there, man. It's definitely top three. Give Me Three Steps. And... Uh, yeah, it's just a funny song, man. And he's talking about some girl he's dancing with, Linda Lou, which is kind of a funny name. I don't know any girls named Linda Lou. If you have ever heard of a girl named Linda Lou, drop it in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. All right. Queen, News of the World. And I have a nice little stack of Queen albums. I think I've shared some of them in previous videos. But you know what? Um, what can you say about Queen, man? Like Freddie Mercury is just the... The awesome showman with that just really knew how to, to work a crowd. He's he was very well loved and he's greatly missed to this day. And um, you know what? Let me see what I got here. Um, Queen, I got a couple of Queen CDs. Pick them up because Freddie. I mean, to watch a whole uh, Queen concert is just a treat. So um, no offense to Adam Lambert, but you know what, man, like, and, and they'll be the first to tell you, like, it's, they just went a different direction with Adam Lambert. Um, he's a great singer and everything, but um, watch some of the, what Freddie does, and you're like, oh, man, yeah, that's it. Okay. Another guy who's no longer with us, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, man. And uh, I remember I used to skate around this place called Roller City. Uh, to damn the torpedoes they played a lot of his songs and uh, refugee uh, here comes my girl um, even the Lo I mean, the losers just to name a few but this this album is just awesome get it okay you know what I'm gonna just do them both at the same time because these guys deserve to be in there twice and to be honest you could put every Led Zeppelin album in, in your classic rock list um, but um, yeah Physical Graffiti, 
Oh man, like this is one of the best selling albums of all time. And so is this one. Um, but yeah, I just remember seeing these guys. Um, they used to have, uh, the song remains the same, used to play in theaters and it would come on at midnight, man. And I remember we would all just go and do a little bit of partying and then go watch that. And it was just awesome. Great memories. Okay. The Rolling Stones, uh, Some Girls. This is just a great album. Like I said, I have more um, Rolling Stones album. I've had the pleasure of seeing them live. Just a great band. Uh, this just has uh, Miss You, uh, Beast of Burden. Um, just These are probably the two biggest hits on this song, just to name a couple. Uh, on this album, just to name a couple. But yeah, the Rolling Stones. And it's a cool cover too, like... If you see, like, you know, the, you can switch the faces on them. Anyhow, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show you the right way. You could see the faces on them. All righty. Next up, man, <clears throat> bad company, man. Paul Rogers and company, what can I say? Um, Shooting Star is probably one of my favorite uh, bad company songs, but Running With The Pack. Uh, moving on, rock and roll fantasy, ready for love. This is just a great album. Um, if if you haven't heard of these guys, some of you younger folks, give them a listen on your on your Apple subscription. I think you'll like them. All righty, Jeff Lynne. To me, this guy is just a musical genius and a legend. And um, I don't feel personally he gets all the credit he deserves, but I believe in the music industry he does. Um, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, um, Evil Woman, Living Thing, Can't Get It Out of My Head, Turn to Stone. Great record, great band. All righty. Heart. Okay, I had the opportunity to see them. And to be honest, like, I love their music. I wasn't too impressed with Nancy Wilson, man. I felt like she, she cut the show short and it was kind of lackluster. But they did sound good, but I just felt like she could have... She left everybody just begging for an encore and she didn't give two cents about it and just walked off. Um, but anyhow, I still love them. And um, Magic Man, Dreamboat Annie, Crazy On You... Um, it's just a, they're just great, and I have, you know, other albums of theirs as well. All righty. Jimi Hendrix. Uh, smash Hits, and um, yeah, I actually have Jimi Hendrix in Real to Real, too. Um, but anyhow, Purple Haze, Fire, The Wind Cries Mary, Hey Joe, Can You See Me, Stone Free. Um, if you're just only going to buy one Jimi Hendrix album, I guess this would be the one. But um, Jimi Hendrix. And you know what? I actually got to, to, to um, touch his guitar. And it was in the basement of the uh, Hard Rock Cafe in London. And um, yeah, they, they have like a, a tour you can pay for. And it's downstairs. And they have more rare stuff. And this was years back. I don't know if they have it anymore. But yeah, Jimi Hendrix guitar. All right. Next up. Eddie Money. Man, I love this guy. It broke my heart when he passed away um, because these, his music really spoke to me as a teenager. Um, Two Tickets to Paradise, Peace in Your Mind, I Want to Go Back, Walk on Water, uh, you know, Take Me Home Tonight with Ronnie Spector. Just a great album and um, belongs in anybody's collection in my humble opinion. All righty, here's another group, man. Um, Boston, More Than a Feeling, Peace of Mind, um, Smoking, and then they got other hits like uh, A Man I'll Never Be, Amanda, some of the, that's some of their slower stuff, but man, Boston. All right, moving right along. Man, I have some good stuff in my collection, I have, if I don't say so myself. Okay. Frampton Comes Alive. Man, this dude was the stuff back in the day. And so, um, yeah, do you feel like I do? Um, yeah, this, this guy is just awesome. Great guitar player. Happy to have him. And next up, 
Janis Joplin's greatest hits, man. Uh, Me and Bobby McGee, written by Chris Christofferson. He was just blown away at the job she did with that song. Uh, Take a Piece of My Heart, uh, Mercedes Benz. Um, Janis Joplin. All right, what can you say about these guys, right? Um, to say they're great, like you're like, yeah, that's, again, another dumb thing, right? But they are great. The Doors, Jim Morrison, man. Um, it, and this is just great music. Um, I remember my uncles used to be listening to this stuff. And um, People Are Strange, Light My Fire, Love Me Two Times, Break On Through, uh, Riders on the Storm. Man, just a great listening album. Get it. <clears throat> Nazareth, hair, hair of the dog. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, hair of the dog. And then also Love Hurts. Man, just some good music on this album. Um, I think it belongs in a collection. All right, all right. Down to the last two. Um, the Kinks, Greatest Hits, You Really Got Me. Of course, Van Halen did, a, did, did that song really well, too. Um, a well-respected man set me free. Um, the greatest hits, man, the kinks. And I, I found this one at a Goodwill store for 99 cents in Texas. So great album and a great score. Remember, if it's not your price, don't buy it. Um, all right. Last but definitely not least, Yes. And this is another one that was in that same uh, batch for 99 cents. Owner of a Lonely Heart, Hold On, It Can Happen. Um, our song, City of Love, Hearts. Um, yes, is just an awesome band. And uh, just, I have other albums of theirs. Just really happy to have this in my collection. That sums it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am truly blessed to have you a part of my YouTube community. So um, again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Take care and God bless you.